I don't know what to do. That's annoying! It looks terrible. We're hiding these. Ow! What is going on here? This is a joke. Where's the dish? This should be really obvious. Oh dear, oh dear. Hello, boys. First off, a very special welcome to our guest today, Taz. Yes. Yay. Oh, I'm so sorry. What happened? <laughs> this is going right. to be shocking. Taz, are you ready for this chaos? Yes. <laughs> Can you have a bit more confidence? Yes. Yes. Bring it on. We'll take the second one. Today's theme is fresh pasta. You must create a fresh pasta dish to create an impressive meal. Taz will be watching from the cooking cam area and will pick who she wants to join in the kitchen. Fresh pasta <laughs> from scratch. Fresh okay. pasta. Okay. And you're watching. Are you going to join us at any point or I, just... Fruit? I don't know. We'll see. I'm just going to go for the vibes. But okay. I've never made fresh pasta. I actually don't know how to make... Have you guys made fresh pasta before? I've made yes. some banging fresh pasta, yeah. actually. Okay. Once or twice over the years. Never in a pass at all, never without a recipe, never against the clock. Janice, what's the order? The order will be decided by our guest. And as Mike isn't here, again, you may also pick one normal to go twice. Oh, OK. OK, well, Jamie did say it was banging. You said you made fresh pasta and it was banging. So, so you're going first. So you go first. Oh, it makes sense. You've got to show us how it's done. We're going to go Jamie, Ben, Barry, Oh, no, 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 no. And the finale is Jamie. And then Jamie at the end. And then you can join any one of us at any yeah, point. Yeah, just pop in every You'll now and again in. and just add to the chaos. I'm sorry. <laughs> Beside the aromatics and the carb options, the spread today is mostly made up of vegetables. The available proteins are chicken thighs, lamb mints and eggs, which are for the pasta, of course, but could be used elsewhere. The pastabilities are endless. Bless, look how composed he is. It's like he's going for a competition. That's not composure. That's pure fear. Right, here we go. Now, logic dictates that I should start by making pasta. Such a smart cookie, this one. Spread that out. This is just going to confuse Ebbers a little bit. Let's do that there. Put that there. And now, <laughs> yeah, 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 right. Oh God, okay, he's got the meat so, out already. The thing is, Evers thinks I'm going to make the pasta first, but I thought I'm gonna do what I'm best at, which is flavor, so I'm gonna make a sauce type thing first. Um, for that, I've got spring onions, um, garlic, I'm gonna fry them off, and I'm gonna add some mints. I think this is lamb mints. That's gonna go in, I'm gonna make it spicy. Um, I saw some gochujang or some harissa on the back. We'll use that. I love spicy. But I can't believe he's not making pasta. Oh, I can. Right. <laughs> Jeepers! Sorry, I got excited. Janice! Now, when you think of pasta dishes, you don't usually think Korean flavours. But why not? So how about a Korean-inspired gochujang lamb pasta? Ooh, OK. I like where this is going. Some oil in that pan. Let's get some garlic going in there as well. Have some hot stuff. Hot stuff. Thanks, Janice. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. A little bit chilly. So we're going seeds and everything. I'm going to add the lamb mince in there once that's just got a little bit softer. If I can add the flavour here, then it gives Ebers the chance to not make boring normal pasta. He can make something a little bit different, which I think would be great. Right, there we go. Let's go in. With. Oh, that's a lot of meat. Oh, you're just gonna put that all in there. Oh, the paper! Oh, God, I'm not. Not the paper! Is that paper or... That's onion, don't worry about that bit. Nice and hot, nice and hot. Why aren't you hotter? Get hotter. Let's go, go, go. This could go, I think, in a number of different directions. This could be, uh, once it's rolled out, we can make little tortellini, tortellini, tortellini. The little filled ones, like a raviolo. We can make a raviolo, but uh, this could go into lasagna. Well, there's so many different options. I do like lasagna. Bans will know where I'm going with this. How long have I got left? Two and a half minutes. Okay, I'm gonna have to go in with the gotcha junk because if I don't do it, I know Ebbers won't. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Come on. Come on. One. Mix that all in. Breadcrumb topping. How are we gonna flavour that? How are we gonna flavour our breadcrumb topping? Oh, smoked paprika and gochujang. 
Yeah, that sounds good. How long till he clocks that they're actually blitzed up breadcrumbs? Yeah, yeah. Why am I putting already blitzed up breadcrumbs in a, in a mixer? Ah, oh, right. Doesn't matter. We've, we've done it now. So that was my 10 minutes, which went very, very quickly. What I have done is I've done a sauce. I've got like a breadcrumb topping that just needs to be fried off in a little bit of oil and crisp that up. And I've floured the surface ready for Ben to make some pasta. <laughs> ready for Ben to make the pasta. I think that's a pretty strong start. I'm going to give myself, it's got to be a 9.2, right? Evers! <laughs> right, fresh pasta, here we go again. Please tell me he's made the pasta. He hasn't made pasta. <laughs> Surely that's the first thing that needs making so it has time to rest. You would think. He's left the pasta for me to worry about. Luckily, it's very simple. You know what, I do want to learn how to make pasta. Should I say stop? Stop! Okay, stop! Hi! Hey! <laughs> I want to learn how to make fresh pasta. Right, come on in. This is going to be fun. You have picked the right time to join. It's basically what like your we love. <gasps> Yes! It's basically okay. like ramen. It's just like oh flour and water or flour and egg. 100 okay. grams of flour to every egg. Oh, I'm already nervous. Generous pinch of salt. That went every... <laughs> it went in. That's fine. No shelf. I'm so nervous. Can I and then we just pulse it up until we get kind of a dough. Oh, nice. Sometimes with dashi oil, but essentially 100 grams of flour and one egg. All you need to do is clump it together into a single ball. Okay, nice. And then we leave it to rest. Now, what would have been genius oh. would have been if Jamie had done this 10 minutes ago mm. and left it to rest. This is Jamie we're talking about. So it's like bolognese-esque. He's got onion and maybe some garlic in there. I wonder if that would make a good filling. We did a little video on your channel, didn't we? And I feel like we didn't have enough pasta, you know? <laughs> well, you had a whole cupboard full of pasta. It fell on me. Oh! It was gonna happen at some point. Also, I had like two bags of flour that I didn't know what to do with that wine. So now I know. Now you know. Now I know. And it's very therapeutic. So therapeutic. What's, you your... mad? <laughs> What's the one thing you hate about cooking at home in the evenings? Well, just the fact that you've got to do it. <laughs> you know? It's and just it's like, it feels like a chore. I feel the same about waxing, Taz. But as Bonnie Tyler once said, somebody's got to do it. Right, I'm gonna add all about tomato middles into this, so we end up with like a start of a tomatoey kind of sauce going on. That'll break down. And some of these, the other half I'm gonna keep back for something in a minute. Four minutes! Four minutes left. What oh we'll man. do is we'll keep kneading that and then we'll yeah. wrap it in cling film and get it in the fridge in the last nice. minute. Ideally, you would knead it for a good like 10 minutes or so. I prefer to do it in a machine for that very reason. That you we don't just have leave 10 it minutes need. or a machine, so that's great. But when there's two of us in the kitchen, we can do it this way. Uh, yeah. Let's not tell them there's a machine behind them. I think a version of minestrone would be excellent. Basically, a broth that's full of lots of lovely vegetables, but then instead of having spaghetti in it, we can have filled pasta in the broth, and that's what the pasta's for with this lovely lamb filling. The base of so many Italian dishes is like a sofrito, which is like chopped up celery, onion, carrot as the base, and then we'll add in water, stock cube, and some nice flavors, perhaps a little bit of sesame oil, and then this wonderful lamb mix, basically inside the pasta that floats inside that broth. So you've got this cross between Korean and Italian. Well, that's what you're assuming they'll do. <laughs> Let's see if they actually do it. If I don't get the broth in there, they're not gonna realize. So in the last minute, I'm gonna chop up some mushrooms. I've boiled the kettle, so I'm just gonna pour that over the veg, which have started to sweat, but then they'll cook in the stock, just like a soup, and then I'll leave some fresh herbs for them to get the idea. Barry's next. He loves Italian food. He also loves spicy food, like Korean food. He will get this, surely. Give it a stir. Give it a generous season. Last 10 seconds. Oh Last my God, 10, 10 seconds. seconds. Done! <laughs> oh, wow. You made fresh pasta. And you did everything else. And I made a bit of a broth. You but smashed that. I'm gonna give myself a... Uh, Seven out of ten. Who's next? Barry. Barry! Right, let's do this. What have we got going on? We have got... What? Where's the pasta? Here. Where's the... Oh, blimey. Thank you, Jan. The pasta hasn't been rolled out yet. Why didn't Ben make pasta? Why didn't Ben roll that out? That should be done now. You would think. You would think. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to roll this out. I'm gonna have to roll it out. 
Ben said it had to be left for a bit. Rolling pin, rolling pin, rolling pin, rolling The pasta's not ready. Rolling pin. Is that a good looking pasta? I think it's okay. All this needs to be, is it needs to be, oh, didn't know that. You can roll it through that machine. Go. So go through first once, and then I'll roll it. This is not well rested pasta. We're in, we're in, we're off. Yeah, boys, looking good. We're looking good. You know what? That is actually looking pretty impressive now. I can see it. I can see the vision now. That's actually really cool. Because I want to get this thin enough to then cut out some pasta. OK, right. So now that's done. Let's just get it on here. Oh, nice. That's nice. Some flour on it now on one side. Hop. Over to the other side. Layer it. So one, two, three, four. Oh, look at me. Looks like I know what I'm doing. Papadelli style, because it's my favourite. Ah! Oh, what? Is he expecting us to cook in that? It's so close. It's so close. It needs another texture going on. You've got spicy meat, you've got a broth. It, it needs to be creamy. So, um. But did you say creamy? Milk and tofu. Sim really creamy, beautiful, silky sauce. Huh, in here. Arr! That doesn't look pretty. Oh, reminds me of myself last night. I think I undercooked my turkey dinosaurs. That's red and vibrant. Green, green sauce. Green parsley sauce. Great idea, Barry. That's going to go in there. Garlic, let's get raw garlic going in as well. Bang. Needs pepper. Needs salt. Jamie, do that. <laughs> this could be a genius new invention or an absolute disaster. Who knows? I'm happy with the pasta. I'm confused by the rest, but I'm going to give myself a confident seven. Jamie! Right, okay, what have we got? We have pasta, yes, and it's cut into thick, was that paparadelli? Papar are we calling that paparadelli? Right, anyway, we've got pasta, well done. And what's this? I've got to blend that up, I'm guessing, but what is it? I'm the last, I'm last. So we're gonna have to pull this together. Why have we got three wet things? Couldn't have said it better, Taz. Why is there boiled mushrooms and carrots? I don't understand. That is dumb. Whatever it is. Okay. Whoa, that's got some raw garlic in it. That was raw garlic. No one's put boiling water on, so we can actually boil some pasta. Let's do that. Where have the breadcrumbs gone that I made? They're down here. Right. Oil boil our pasta in here. That's going to flavour the pasta as it cooks. Okay, right, I think we're okay. I mean, we're definitely not okay. This is, it's not right, but it's okay. We're gonna make it anyway. Five minutes left, right. Bit of ketchup, chef's favourite. Cook that out. Wait, Jamie, don't put... Uh... I don't think that's gonna work in the way that I want it to. Can't say I didn't try. It's absolutely not gonna work in the way that I want it to, but we are where we are. We've got five minutes, four minutes left. Fresh pasta into here. This pasta's quite sticky. Don't know if it's rested for long enough. Dry pan. Here we go again. Toast them off in a dry pan. That's really hot. That's not. Why isn't that hot? Cook, cook, cook. Yeah. Right. I've got to leave that for, I've got 30 seconds to leave that, that's fine. Right, these are, are they burnt? They might be burnt. Right, we're going, we're going. Oh yeah, look at that, it's boiled perfectly. Oh, yep. Yeah. Ow, ah, key, ah, key, ah, fe. Right. Jamie, breadcrumbs. But, breadcrumbs, yeah. Right, spoon over our gochujang lamb bolognese, that, and then we're gonna go for blobs, blobs. Oh, the time's run out. <laughs> well, oh, in my first go, I gave myself a 9.2. I'm going to track that down slightly based on my final performance. I think it evens out at about an 8.5. Should we get some sexies and get the others in? Fed up with cooking the same boring dinners? <laughs> Try new recipes, discover new flavours, and experiment with different ingredients in a simple, revolutionary way with our Sidekick app. Boost your confidence today and try it for free. Click the link below.
fresh pasta yep. in 40 minutes. <laughs> Would you like to see what we created? Yeah. Yes. Da -da 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 -da! Well, yeah. we've got yeah. fresh pasta yeah. and we've got what yeah. looks like bolognese with a twist. Freshly made pasta boiled in a mushroom and carrot water with a lamb gochujang bolognese and tofu and garlic and parsley sauce on top. Right, well, let's dig in, because it's it looks very family style and kind of inviting. I think intrigued. Yeah. It's very... Congealed? Yeah. Yeah, what happened to the pasta? Did you just put the whole thing in? I did not. Did you mix it? I've got a bit of the tofu as well. Ready? Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. Mm. Ooh. That looked good. Sweetness in there as well. Good raw garlic on that sauce. Yeah. Some of the pasta is pretty good. Some. What it worries me that the stuff in the middle is just flat out stuck together. That yeah, that's one pasta. So normally, Taz, we go along and we explain who did oh. what, but you saw the whole process, so why don't you tell us <laughs> okay. where things fell oh, apart no. and where things really okay. succeeded? I think the whole thing was a chaotic mess and I did not know where it was going, right? Welcome to Pasta but, Talk. But the ending has been so good that I don't even care anymore. <laughs> I think you all did, like, as in it came together quite well. The end justifies the means. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But I will say, you're on a whole different wavelength to these guys. <laughs> as in, like, the whole broth thing completely went over the head. Thank no you. one understood the broth. Yeah, where'd, you, where'd you put the broth? Did you save it for later? It did its job because it <laughs> cooked the... It's, it, down, it's down the sink, isn't it? It cooked the... It's there. It's hard oh, to break. It. You know what? We can just put the broth here now and it'll be what you wanted. This is what Ben wanted this whole time. Bearing in mind it's a broth that at Let the point I did it hadn't been seasoned or finished Same. and now it's got all the flowery pasta water in it. It's just slightly mushroomy mm. water. This has uh, opened my mind a lot because I don't like tofu and usually I'm very funny about meat because I don't like when meat tastes like meat. But this is really good. Like I think you guys did a smashing job. Let's all just hold hands and be friends. <laughs> <laughs> I gave myself seven and I actually think Family style plating, that was very delicious homemade pasta. Pass. I also gave myself a seven. Um, and yeah, it's actually stonking. So, pass. Uh, for my first go, I gave myself a 9.2. Uh, mm -hmm. And in my last go, I actually rounded it down to an 8.5. <laughs> I think that's a pass. But the thing is, we have a guest, so it's not up yeah. to us this time. Okay. Taz. Is this a pass or a fail? This is such a big pass. Like, yes. genuinely, I really, really like it. I'm, you know what? I'm not even kidding. I'm going to watch this back to recreate this. Good recipe. I mean, maybe not exactly <laughs> the way you guys did it. Wow. They actually passed the test. I hate myself for that. There is a Korean-based pasta recipe on Psychic, which means you could literally recreate something very similar, but maybe better, in your own home with a safety net of an audio guide. Well, over to you, comment down below, let us know, is this a pass or a fail? And where do you think it went right? And where did it go wrong? Also, go check out Taz's channel. All the links are downstairs. Give us some love. Ben came to my kitchen and basically showed me how to use it and cook some meals <laughs> using the ingredients in my kitchen. And um, it was a learning experience. It was really, really cool and chaotic and what I've realised is I'm just very nosy and I love rooting around through other people's kitchens and cupboards yeah. and working out what they've got. You had a great kitchen, loads of stuff. And I probably didn't know how to use any of it, so <laughs> great. We love that. I love that. That's get so get a chef over to show me how to use my kitchen. Use my kitchen, please. <laughs> New series. Yeah. That's basically how it works.